Here is how to check the correct functioning of a load cell using a simple procedure. We show you a test that enables you to quickly and easily check your load cells. You need the following components. Your load cell with no load applied, a medium priced multimeter, and a 9 volt battery. The first step for checking the load cell is to measure the resistances of the excitation voltage and of the measurement signal. This step enables you to detect whether all connections in the load cell are correct and the resistance is inside the permissible tolerance range. Be sure to review the data sheet for the corresponding tolerances. In your assessment, please keep in mind that the multimeter often has some inaccuracy. At first, measure the bridge resistance between the excitation voltage connections. These are for HBM devices, the blue and black cables. Then carry out the test for the resistance between the measurement signal inputs as well as red and white cables with HBM devices. The feedback lines of the six wire circuit are not taken into account. These are the gray and green wires with HBM devices. Now connect the battery to the transducer. Please use a 9 volt block battery. Check the voltage value of slightly more than 9 volts after having connected the battery. Wait for approximately 5 minutes for the load cell to thermally stabilize. The measured value with no load applied should vary only by a few digits around zero. With the multimeter, the smallest measuring range is 200 millivolts. Apply a load to the load cells to perform your measurements. With a correctly functioning load cell, the signal rises to the load value and then drops to the initial point. The zero point tolerance is usually 1% of the nominal rated sensitivity. With a measuring range of 200 millivolts, this corresponds to approximately two digits and thus roughly corresponds to the multimeter's accuracy. Hence this approach only allows you to verify whether or not a strain gauge transducer is generally functional. If this is not the case, the load cell might be defective and should be further checked using an amplifier suitable for strain gauge transducers. Our simple test can be performed with a wide range of load cell types. For more information about the topic, please visit our website at www.hbm.com. Further isolation testing using a multimeter is not possible since this would require a higher test voltage. This test can only be carried out in a laboratory fitted with adequate equipment.